is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this one exciting music that nice bump of music. Thank you, thank you, Hal, and the team. So we're looking at uh, let me just move this over and we can go straight to the market. We're looking at the market at 10.06 a.m. on a Monday morning, the 13th. Here we go, INDU. The Dow is up 188. At 34,806, uh, 34, giving back a chunk of that opening surge to the upside after a whopper of a down move on Friday. Um, just for clarification, for the Chapman Wave, uh, in the Chapman Wave methodology, for us, um, uh, for the subscribers, uh, we have been short the Dow. On the shorter term, we still have long from way back at the, the, the day of the low of last year. We still long a core position, but we have, and we had uh, just recently, we had a number of long positions. We've taken profits there, and we switched to the short position on the 26th, I believe it was, uh, right there. And we've gone from the 35,000, I think we were shorted about 35,000 to 80. We're at 34,800 right now. Uh, this is something very serious in the Chapman Wave methodology. I'll do this today because we're starting off the week and we want to be, uh, uh, we really want to know what the parameters, to, the parameters are to look at. There's a pattern I call the dreaded H. Why do I call it the dreaded H? It's a straight line down, arches over at a peak, A or a peak, B, that's uh, first peak or the second peak, and then it takes out the left side low. What happens after that is really important in the Chapman Wave methodology. You need to close above it. Uh, within two sessions, sometimes I'll say three, but usually it's two sessions. And then we look at what happens after that. But if you've closed below it, it puts a great limit on the moving averages above or a doji candle or a gap or something above. And then you need to come back and retest. So we're in the retest uh, situation right now, number one. Number two is in the arch formation, what happens is, it is so severe sometimes that it starts to impact the next time frame. What's the next time frame? The weekly chart where we've got a G slash C. 35,631 was the all time high peak in the daily chart. Peak G slash C in the weekly chart. Leg D in the monthly chart. And D is the fourth highest peak. The objective in the Chapman Wave methodology is to get you to at least a D. Then you have to use other parts of the technique. And you can see what's happened here. We went to an instant restart in the weekly chart back in going to the um, April time frame. We had a peak D for one bar, and then you made a new recovery high. And now look at this. This is an alternate count, G-C. But if there's a, a week close this week, this will say, uh-uh, you're at a G. That's, a, that's a fairly serious. And we'll see if we pull back. So we've been short for a little while. Now, what we're all looking at is within the context of the different indices, there are patterns. They all have a different pattern. This is the first time I've actually seen it quite so serious. Look, the S&P has also pulled back quite sharply uh, from the 45.45.85 high of the 2nd of September at a peak G with two doji candles. Those are absolute clues at all-time highs. You watch for the reversal there. And what we're looking at is the MACD turn down, stochastic turn down, but it'll take a week today or tomorrow for the nine period to close below the 14 period to give you a confirmation of the sell mode. Look, in the Dow, what we did, we spoke about this, uh, I think it was Thursday, we were already talking about the fact that we had closed below it. You'll see this is what I show my subscribers every day. Um, look at this. This is the green line, is the nine period moving average. And when it crossed negative right here, it turned pink, and that says you've got a confirmation of the sell mode in the uh, daily chart, not the weekly. Weekly chart is not even close to having the nine period go under the 14 period. Still early in the game. So what we're looking at here is go back to the S&P. The S&P, nice move up. I mean, really, just built from uh, middle of the night, I'd say. It just started to build and build and build. And by this morning, you had already hit in the in the few in the not the futures I'm going to the uh, cash S and P four four nine two point nine nine and now we're at four four six one thirty points lower at the low of the day I have to tell you when I've been warning subscribers for a little while 
that we're looking at that we're probably going to lighten up on our longs, uh, raise the stops. Um, we still got long positions, but we've added these shorts. And this says to me <clears throat> that within the context of where we are at this particular point, purely on a technical basis, the daily charts are suggesting sell modes all the way around. The weekly charts, they've just begun a turn down. You can't even talk about them yet as something fulfilling the parameters of the Chapman wave to even get a sell signal yet. But the warning is out there. And I'm going to explain some things as we move along. So you've got the S&P up four at right now at 4462.63. Look at the QQQ. Unbelievable. New low uh, uh, since the high that was made on the 7th at 382.78. Uh, two days ago at the open, we went short uh, via the um, SQQQ, just a small, very small position, but that's okay. Small position of a three times short. That's still something to be worried about if you're wrong. But look, the nine period moving average on the QQQ NDX 100 uh, trust series. This is the NDX 100 um, trading vehicle. Look at that. Now, now I need to do this. So this is the start of a week. First full week we've had in a little while. So let's do this. Apple. These are the Fang stocks. Apple. Peak F at 157.26. Um, let me double check. 157.26 on the 7th of September. I can now make this red. It is in a sell mode in the daily. Weekly chart, peak E. Always warning at D's and E's and F's in weekly charts. Got to be careful. So a down arrow, uh, Apple's in a sell mode. This is F in the daily, E in the weekly. Leg F, I'm going to call this for leg F in the uh, monthly, even though I could give it an alternate count. I have no, no need to do anything. First of all, we don't have a position, uh, but we have the QQQ short, so we'll see. Then we want to go to Amazon. Amazon, I was warning the other day that the bounce could be over, um, but it has got a peak B and it tried to fill the gap, that huge gap of the uh, earnings. I, I, it wasn't really an earnings miss per se. I think it was the outlook was a little first time. It's been a bit shaky. So we went from right here from the three just under 3600 gap down to under 3400 and now we're trading at 3457 sort of arching over but it's still a great company and it's still looking good but i think it's in for a continuation of this digestive phase in the h pattern and look at the weekly chart potential head and shoulders but i don't even get into that until we start to see some uh, a move below 30 33 50. Uh, on a closing basis. And this is just a puff to the upside to the all time high of 377, 3.08 in the monthly chart. Let's go on to um, um, what are we talking about? Fang stocks. So we go to Facebook. Facebook trading at peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology right there, all time high on the 1st of September at 384.33, trading now at 380. Uh, sorry, 375.21. This is in the rectangle formation. Uh, I am always wary of this because at a high, if you start to make the recta rectangle formation, you also have to draw in the potential for the H pattern right there. Bumper music coming up. I'll be back in a moment. And we're looking at the Dow uh, up to 15 S&Ps up to 98 cents. We'll be right back. That was a chapter with new bumper music. For Monday, September 16th, I'll be right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And uh, the Dow's up 213, S&P's up 331. Just before I forget, I tried, to, I tried this morning to, to, cap, to, to get back to some of the, uh, to some, of the uh, some of the questions that were sent to me over the weekend. If you sent me a question, could you just quick, just quickly send resend it, uh, and I'll get to it. I just, I couldn't. For some reason, I just couldn't. It, it's there. I just didn't have time to uh, scroll down to see. Uh, I, I usually write them down, but I was really busy and I had some technical problems uh, just with uh, I had to close the my program uh, very suddenly and I couldn't save at that point after all the work I'd done and I had to redo those charts. It happened a few times. It was really frustrating. Uh, it's just I, I'm not sure I'm not going to blame anyone. It just happened. So I, I was busy that way. So we got Facebook. Uh, pulling back sharply, Facebook at 375, closes under 371 in the next two, three days. I would say that it too, it's, right now it's not even a sell signal. It says it's hinting strongly, but it hasn't even got there. That'll go to a sell signal, maybe an immediate upgrade to sell mode. Uh, look at this, the s and is just about to turn red after being spectacularly higher earlier on. It's one of the reasons why over the weekend when I did my overview for my subscribers, my video on Saturday, I said, let's be really, really careful. Uh, and uh, we're going to say, oh, they even had a, a, one, of, one of my futures of counsel that had a trading thing because it didn't affect me at the time when I was using it. They had a, a, a problem there. Uh, and people are saying they also had some technical difficulties. Uh, Larry uh, Pazavento also said he had some technical difficulties. So within that context, we're looking at um, Netflix. Netflix is a, a, any of these uh, stocks that, oh, <laughs> I did this and I have to redo it. Oh, what a frustration. D, it's gone to a peak. E in the daily chart. I even did this to see if there were round numbers and now I can't do anything yet. I'll just put red for the moment. So Netflix is down 13 if I recollect, there was a round number. Oh, nope. So the high was all time high was 600. Oh, there it is. No, 615.60. 615.60. But this is really important. I've got a peak C in the weekly chart, um, and it's an all time high. So it could be an E slash C because it never took out the low in the weekly chart when it restarted. So E slash C and a leg D. Finally, a leg D in Netflix. NFLX trading at 585 down 13. 
uh, monthly leg D. Oh, we've got everything sitting in place for at least some kind of a digestive phase. We'll see if that can occur over the next two weeks. So Netflix, and what am I looking at yet? Netflix, uh, Fang, oh, Goog. Goog, Goog is trading at um, 2,853. It made a peak F. I'm calling this an F. Get rid of that F slash B because it is. They're all the technical indicators. Get out of that. It will suggest that this is, in fact, a short-term top in the daily chart. I'm going to put a down arrow in. And in your high, in any of these, just negates everything we're talking about. I just don't see that right at the moment. I see attempts. And the fact, even the fact that we had a very strong open, and even the fact that the Dow is up 243, that while the S&P has come back a little bit to a plus six, says that there's residual strength. Don't take this for granted to 936.41. Don't take this for granted that um, everything's in place because 2963, things at 45. Um, so that everything's in place for a major down downturn. Not yet, because what you really need to do is, um, so what you really need to do is Understand that you go one step at a time. There's a residual strength, and I showed this to my subscribers in my opening call this morning. I said, uh, I mentioned it on the weekend, but I, I was still working on the night, that information I had to redo. The dark news cloud cover that I talk about using the Dow, uh, this is the daily chart. Look how many times when I drew that rectangle, you had this consolidation. Well, look, this pattern right now looks exactly like others where you, you, you made the rectangle. Within that, you've got the arch formation, the dreaded H pattern. And then you broke the left side low. And what happened next is really important. That's why there's a green candle here. If there are another two green candles in the Dow over the next two days, I'm telling you that we've got a rotational aspect to this that says, Watch out because there's a high level consolidation in some of the indices while other indices are taking a well earned rest like the QQQ, NDX 100. And that's the whole thing that I've been saying. You can't expect a crash when you've got rotational aspect. When you get a Joe Granville, 95 to 98% of all stocks are going down, that's a crash. But when you get this rotation that says, wow, we're looking at the Dow uh, up. 233, uh, what's to worry about? Yeah, you got to look at things individually, and that's really important. So, uh, okay, within that context, um, we've got our FANG stocks. We're looking at Goog uh, up 12, but it's it's really, it's in a sell signal to sell mode. It's only Facebook that is just turning down, and Netflix is giving the clue. Oops, now, what did I say? I said Facebook was, in fact, did I type that in the wrong place? I did. Oh, no, I didn't want to type it there, but that's okay. Facebook, yeah, Facebook is in the rectangle formation, and Netflix is just turning down as we speak, and I'm pretty sure it's going to turn into a peak E. So that's that's the fang stocks. But wait a minute. Question came in about XOP. Well, XOP is the S&P uh, oil. This is called the S&P spider oil and uh, gas exploration ETF. Monthly chart at the peak C. Gosh, I had these, all of these charts notated. Every single chart I talk about just about has been notated from the beginning of time. I have to redo them because every time my system suddenly gets closed down, what happens is it's like a little library in there. And you find out that, yes, it's saved, but it's gone to a different folder. And when I come back again, I've lost a whole chunk of information on the one that comes that shows up. So somewhere I've got the XOP all notated, but it ain't here. So I just redid this peak E in the weekly chart. So the question is, having started a new position um, a, a couple of months ago, is this still something to be considered as in an up move? And what I would say is I believe that this rotational aspect is really important for the general market right now, because the oil and gas, because oil, I'll just do oil right now, oil is trading, this is the crude oil that I have gone to a leg D in the daily chart, so you've got to be a little careful at peak at leg D, because that's where it can turn down, but it hasn't. It's broken above resistance levels. The weekly charts made a nice move. I would say that unless 
Crude oil, continuous contract, trading at 70.57, up 84 cents. Unless on a weekly basis, it closes below 66.80. Yeah, let's call it 66.50. Below 66.50, that's a closing basis. We are in a sideways range, and I would just say, I would not, XOP, let's go back again, look at the daily chart. Whoa, typed it in there, let me type it in here. All right, XOP, here we go. In leg D, I would not, I would say congratulations on your entry. Let me see what the question is. Uh, yeah, the question, question is, is the statement. Uh, Chapwick, morning, Basil, I've been lugging XOP 83, uh, rebuy since July 21st, XOP at 87 last. Do you see this will be a rally extending to retest July uh, first 100 top? Okay, I'll answer that question soon as we reach. I'll try to answer that question, but I do see it as a positive, right? Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back, and uh, we're looking at the Dow now, 250, and the SPF 5. It's a real struggle between the different uh, uh, indexes. Uh, in, in the YouTube, uh, uranium stocks uh, passes uranium stocks jump as Reddit's Wall Street bets goes nuclear. So I'll get to that in a moment. Let me just finish. All I'm going to say is <coughs> because you got into the XOP so well, I, 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 yeah, I'm going to say I like it. It is in leg D. It says this is where you can expect some kind of choppiness. I would just not do anything with it because... Overall, 
the economy at this particular point is really doing quite well. There's a lot of nervousness. Remember, I've got the dark cloud cover that I just showed out there. But I think that it's really important for crude oil to be part of this economic structure right at the moment. And even though I've got signals to say, watch out, we're in for a very choppy September, at least in the beginning, this first part of September. Um, and of course, we don't even know because we've got that rule that says what's sell on Rosh Hashanah, which was last week, and buy on Yom Kippur, which is this Thursday. So that would be on Thursday or Friday. That's, that's just an old saying. Uh, I'm just going to suggest within the, within the context of what we're looking at, I like the action. And if a close look at 86.90, Let's just give it um, 84, 84.35. Give me a yell if it suddenly dips to 80, 84. How it dips and what happens in that weekly chart is going to be important this week. You, tactics are not good at all, but it's nicely. And I haven't seen a turn up of the 9 over the 14 in the weekly chart. Uh, it's still negative, but the, the daily chart is saying, I'm holding really well. What are you talking about? Well, we're talking about the fact that at D, especially with the island reversal, that's a powerful move. And it went way above, just shot right through the 200 period moving average resistance, the pink line, the daily. It's above the 50. I'm just saying all of these 9 and 14 and 50 uh, moving averages give you the whole of the 83s as support. I don't want to get to the 83s. I want just 84, 34. Give me a yell and we'll look at it together. So far, I just say to you, hold tight. If you are getting to the point where you say, uh-oh, this is where I, I don't quite understand the I know you like to do fundamental as well as technical. Then why not just right as we're speaking at 86.92, take a little bit off, set it aside, put in 80. Uh, do you want it to break the 84.20 level and get to 83? I just set it aside as if it's money that you will put back under certain circumstances, and it's really just a reward to say I've done it right. I'm just taking a little bit off that I can put back, and that's all. That's the only statement I would make right now. I don't want to. I don't want to um, anticipate over anticipate something that hasn't even happened. It's still in leg D. Mac D is good. Stochastic said 84 percent. The on balance volume is the only reason why I'm saying to you, yes. If you're a little bit nervous, take something off right now, and that's it. All right. Next question I had um, is Baidu. I'll do that before we go to some of the other areas. Uh, Baidu is trying to, um, after that peak D, it's holding quite nicely, but I'm putting it together with the FXI, although it's not in the FXI, I don't believe it is. Uh, is that made a peak D and that's holding. So that whole area, the China area, is holding after just being decimated. If the FXI starts to, at 41.36, this is the China uh, iShares large cap, ETF, it, it's changed its name over the years. We've called it all sorts of things. But in the meantime, at FXI, if it, at 41.35, after the peak D in the 42.50s, if it trades, if it, no, if it closes on a daily basis twice under 40.55, oh, let's make it 40.50, at any time in the next week, that's going to say, uh-oh, be careful, the counter trend rally could be done. Uh, next question I have, let me just check over here if I can see it at all. Uh, whoops, that was a mistake. I made that a little louder by mistake. Okay, I can get that out there. I wanted to hear that because I think I was talking over the bump of music. Okay, I'm getting it right here. Wow, I'm listening to myself in YouTube. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to move over to this chart right here. There it is. Okay, now I'm going to run up. I just want to see if I've missed anything. Yeah, a couple of questions came in, came in. And from the weekend, there's one I'll get to soon. Okay, good. I need you to know that. And um, so within that context of the question came in uh, over the weekend, what about gold? You've been, you've been talking about gold as being okay, but nothing more than okay. Not very weak, not very strong, just stuck in the range. Well, you can see it's up six and a half today at 1798. It's holding well. If this will turn into a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside, if certain conditions are met, and I'll explain exactly what I'm looking to add right now. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm preparing that there's been this rotation through the different sectors. At this point, after the last week, 
I would have thought under other conditions, other usual historical conditions, that I'd be looking at gold at 18.23 to 18, or maybe even a new recovery high above the high of the 3rd of uh, September of 1830, uh, let's call it 1837 on the continuous contract. It's not happening. So if there is a close on a daily basis below 1777, I'm going to be watching this. Let me give you silver quickly because I want to go to the dollar. Peak D. Oh, I drew this in. I have to draw it in again. Oh, what? What a nuisance. I, I've, I've learned now I'm going to do this. Actually talking, I'm just going to get into that. I should have been doing this for years and years and years. Just hit the save button every few minutes because I do so much work to have to go redo that because it's suddenly closed. Look at this. It's got Chapman Wave uh, falling exclamation to the downside in silver at 2380. It needs very quickly at minus nine. It needs very quickly. I mean, by Wednesday to be above 2415, that shouldn't be a big deal, but so far it is because if it goes under 2330, that's a problem. Now I'm going to go to the dollar. Maybe it's pulled back by now. Yep, it has. So the intraday high was 92.89. It's trading at 92.65, up two cents. This is a pattern we've seen quite often lately where at peak B, it suddenly arches over. I'm going to be prepared that maybe the, the maybe gold actually does rally. It should normally, but it isn't right now. And the dollar starts to pull back. So if the dollar can get to 93.10 in the next two days, that's fabulous action. If it breaks down and it closes under 92.33, mm -mm, I'd say that's, that's a bit of a problem. And that weekly chart did the peak D perfectly with the Chapman Wave stalk leg formation. There's the leg, there's the body, there's the neck. Here's the beak. And usually after the beak is completed, we don't always know when it's completed, there's a nice bounce, a nice rally. Then you're on your own in the technique. It throws it out. It's done. You have to look at other techniques. So we're going to be watching that. And that's the, uh, that's the dollar. Let's go to um, the crude TLT. I want to do that. I think we're almost done with those. In, in, yep, there's the TLT in the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone after the peak D high that was made back. Uh, that was around the 23rd or something. The 20th of July at 152.71 peak D. Island reversal comes back down, then fills it partially and then pulls back and now it's in an arch formation but holding nicely and the arch can go oh that was the question over the weekend when does the arch go to an empath well right now we're looking at the chance because it held so nicely that the tlt is going to form an arch formation and make a rectangle so that yields are just stuck in a range they're not breaking down they're not breaking up i'll be back in a moment We've got a lot of questions i'll be back thousands of weeks Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. All right, folks, we're back and we're looking at AR. A question came in about ARKK, which is ARK Innovation ETF, and that's trading down 239 at 118.07. Hit the 200 period moving average, tried to rally, uh, went all the way to 120. And then the low was, in fact, oh, I just changed everything. Let me go back if I can see the low. <laughs> yeah, the low was 116.14. And it went all the way to 120.81. And now it's down at 118.03. I suspect, and I, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, whether I do a webinar for subscribers uh where it is one of my, the, the usual ones that i did or whether i do something uh that i record and I, I i do it after questions come in and you can just listen to it anytime i just haven't decided the the, the, the just the medium that i want to use i have been asked if i would do one for subscribers which is what i normally would do but most importantly what i'm looking at is in this phase of this digestive phase in some of the really the great areas that we, we, we've been wanting to be in, we've got a couple of stocks that I said warned on Friday. You've got to be careful because they're making tops that should I even spoke to Tommy when I spoke on when we had an interview on Thursday. So we, we've had stocks that have done fantastically, like TMO, Thermo Fisher Scientific, but it made a peak D, it made a little doji candle. Um, on Friday at 573.63, it made an exact double top for two days in a row. Uh, we're along from 484, we're taking two little bits off, um, and it went from 484, where we entered, it hit 575.63 on Thursday. And Friday, what was the high? 575.63 with a doji candle. So I warned, be careful. And today's high is 575.30. 33 cents off or 34 cents off making an all-time high and it's trading now down 18 points down three percent at 553 and that's why i'm saying in the rotational aspect be careful you could have something that's done absolutely fantastically but this is that period where people are going to say fund managers are going to say hey this is spectacular if it starts to break a certain point i'm going to lighten up i don't think they're going to get out Certainly in leg C, I've got this as leg C in the month in the weekly chart, but I I suspect they want to buy it a little later. So you'll have plenty of opportunities. We have another one, Agilent Technologies, fantastic company, Agilent Technologies Inc. Scientific Solutions for Labs and Businesses spoke about it. Said four days in a row. It's actually five days with 179.50. No, we're in at 70. 179.59 a uh, top. Um, no, I made a mistake. Yep, 179.57. 57 high on um, the 3rd of September. The next day it's 179.37. The next day it's 179.18. The next day the high is 179.36. Friday it's 179.31. This is I, I when I gave one of my master classes, one of those one of those all day sessions. Um, about a month or so ago, I said, be careful, watch this technique. It's been working fantastically for quite a while. 
inch a day on a one-minute basis, a five-minute basis, 10-minute basis, 120-minute basis, and even in some stocks, making double tops or triple tops, but making patterns that just refuse to break the high. If it refuses to break the high, unlike a Sintas, we do not have it. I use it always as a, as a, as a medium of looking at uh, overalls, uniforms, rentals, and the question, ah, oh, that was the question. The question was, um, uh, Sintas is making all-time highs. What does it say about the economy? And what I did is a study, and I lost that. I have to redo it again. Gosh, that was upsetting. I did a, a couple of chart patterns that I was showing. Uh, the Dow, Home Depot, and Sintas together to show that Sintas very often over years, decades, I'm talking about, makes its low uh, co kind of close to the market low in anticipation of a turnaround of the economy. But at highs... You've got people that have to commit to buying. And as it's getting, look at this, peak C1, C2, C3, C4, and then it goes to a leg D. And this took a, a, over a month to break out, and now it's trading at 408.10. So Sintas, the reason, the question was, how come? Isn't that a good sign for the economy? What it says is that within the context of your sectors, look at this as where companies don't really want to put money to work if they don't have to. They're almost forced always to going into uh, anything like looking for job searches or, or overalls, uniforms, rentals, anything that has to do with where you've got a, a, a commitment, a financial commitment for X number of months, years, or whatever it is, they don't like to do it until they're forced to. So the tops are very often made after the market pulls back, but I'm talking about major tops. So in this particular instance, what it's really saying is, ah, well, fund managers have been forced, sorry, fund managers, companies have been forced to buy overalls, uniforms, rentals, and do everything that pertains to the, the, the infrastructure of the economy as it relates to hotels, whatever it is. And therefore, you can see it go higher, even if the market is starting to at least digest big gains. So that I think explained that was one of the questions. And next question is, uh, could I look at an IYR? IYR is the, um, uh, this is the iShares Dow Jones US REITs Index Trust, leg C in the monthly chart. And it's a leg D, in the, a peak D in the, in the weekly chart, says be a little careful here. And it's up 1.27 at 108.30. But this peak, D right here in the daily chart, whoops, uppercase D, and on the way up, we always use uppercase, is in a sell mode in the daily, and it hit 111, whoops, 111.44, 111.44, let me type that in here, 111.44, a uh, week and a half ago, and that's the high, and I'm making it in red. So it's digesting gains, so just be a little careful here, but it's still... The, the weekly chart is saying, hey, this is still pretty good. Yes, we had uh, two, like a railroad track, one big green candle, one big red candle. I'm just saying, be a little careful here because this is an area that could digest gains. Uh, uh, let me just see. Uh, let me question you came in here. Mm. Yeah, so the uranium stocks, you, I can't believe I have to redo this. You are a global X uranium. Remember, I actually talked about it. I did the whole thing. I did a whole bunch of uranium stocks, and that just wasn't saved for some reason. I'm going to do that right now. Save all workspaces. Just keep doing that. Don't forget to do it. Um, yeah, so this is a huge move up. Doji candle legs, see in the daily. Could pull back a little bit and then have a slightly higher high. I, I thought I'd drawn in, and I said, I think we're getting to a point in the uranium stocks that it could get to a, a, what happened to the rectangle that I just put in there? This is so frustrating. And this is the old version of Trade Station. I haven't wanted to update because I'm just so used to after hundreds and hundreds of thousands of stocks to go to the new version. Well, I want you to draw in a rectangle. I want, I'll, make it, I'll make it a semicircle. All right, we've got one more seg segment to go. I'll try to find it in the break to do a rectangle. I don't like to do circles or ovals unless it pertains to that. So trading at 27.69 up a dollar 35. 
You are a Global X Uranium ETF spectacular move. This is on, on I remember on Friday, I said on Friday, they said, oops, wrong, wrong. Um, I should not have used that word, fire. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, so a question came in, um, RSP. RSP. I don't know if I did the RSP. So there's equal weighted spy. I just, I just can't remember what the symbol is. Um, I have it all notated. Someone can give me the symbol that I used. If you know it, equal weighted spy or uh, S and P. Maybe it was the S and P itself. The cash equal weighted. Anyway, I, I I have done that. But yes, I do use it. But I haven't used the the, uh, the QQQ one, which was what did you say the symbol was? Uh, G7. That was. Uh, am I going to find this? Um, there it is. And as I found it. It just moved away. QQQE. Okay. So QQQE, one, two, three, E. You see, what happens is they actually move close to the same sort of pattern, but one might be lagging all the way through. So that when you finally find, uh, finally do the analysis uh, and try to put them together, you'll find that one is lagging. And often it's the equal weighted one that, that's. Um, so I'll try to get to that uh, tonight. We'll see. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, a couple of questions came in. Um, let me just see. Steve, I, I didn't know who it was. It wasn't my choice, uh, 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 baseball eye. Uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, I don't know. I don't even know Stevie Ray Vaughan. But all I can say is that D-O-C-N, 
No, it's D O C U. Question came in about Docu. See, here's your peak D. So even DocuSign, a fantastic company, is just pulling back sharply. So that's what I'm saying, that we're looking at a rotation that says the QQQ at this particular point, especially the FANG stocks, are much weaker. You look at the XLF, and the XLF is trading. It's kind of holding the 50-period the exponential moving average. If the yields start to rally, you'll see this rally. So with that said, and with your bumper music, I'll be back tomorrow. And uh, check out the people in the daily newsletter. And as I say, we do have two shorts, and most of you have longs. And this is going to be a really important week. I think it might happen some of the longs. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. And check out the, all the programs coming up. They should be great.